tip number one for driving. So the biggest fault I see within golf is a slice. So let's sort of recognise that fault and let's try and address that problem if that makes sense. So the number one fault that I see with people slicing the ball is an open club face. So what I mean by open club face is their club face is pointing to the right. And what that causes, that causes the ball to go out to the right. So wherever the club face aims, the ball kind of starts out in that direction. So that is down to a lack of release of impact. So what I mean by that is people or golfers in general, if this was the target of the house in front, golfers get to the top of the bat swing, bring the club into impact, and the club face starts to open in this position. So the toe doesn't fully release over the heel, or the heel in this position. So struggle to release the golf club. What happens is the heel gets to the golf ball before the toe and the face kind of remains open. So let's try and go for the opposite to that. So let's try and get the, the toe to collide with the cane to start off with so the club face can close and almost in this position. That's generally just going to help the toe close over the heel and stop that club face from opening. So that's tip number one. Toe to get to the, the toe into the, the, the cane. So almost in that position. As in this position, the club face is going to close. Tip number two is the transition away from the the golf ball. So what I mean by that is how we move our body in relation to the golf ball. So the biggest fault I see in golf is when people kind of lift the arms to start off with. They lift the arms to take the club back, they get a, almost get a bend, bend, almost bend in their arms. From there we don't create a lot of a lot of movement in their torso, so their chest and their hips kind of raise up towards the sky. So here's, here's a simple drill that's going to help you initiate that movement. So our first move away, the left shoulder should move away from the golf ball. The shoulder moves away from the golf ball. We're keeping our left shoulder kind of moving away from the body. That's the first thing to start moving. Then our body starts to rotate. So, and our trunk. Then from there, we can get into this position. So, we're not swaying away from the golf ball. So, our right foot should kind of always stay in contact with that cane. But for us to increase that movement away, what we need to do is turn our body. So. We get in the club in my hands to marry the club shaft on the ground. So we turn our body and then from there we're almost keeping the club in direct contact with that line all the way through. So we're getting to the top of the bat swing, hands kind of come down into impact and from there we're going to just kind of maintain that angle through. Number three, what we're going to talk about is how we're going to talk about how we kind of load into our right side. So what I mean by that is generally how we get weight from the golf ball into our back foot and how we restore that and release it into our left foot. So, the biggest fault I see is when people don't get enough pressure into their right side. So what I mean by that is they kind of sway their hips this way and they kind of slide their hips this way. So, what we need to do is place a cane kind of inside of our right foot and from there we're just going to make small swings. So the idea is we're just going to feel like we're loading our weight into our right foot even allow your left heel to lift off the ground. That's good for a lot of golfers to try and obviously get that weight towards your back foot. A lot of golfers kind of keep that foot planted and they generally struggle to get over to this right foot. So even allow the left foot to come off the ground to start off with, that's generally just going to increase movement away from the golf ball. So we're taking the club, we're getting the weight into our right foot. From there you should almost feel like the weight kind of goes inside your right leg, it, does, it should never go more than outside that position, okay? So slightly gradually let the le right leg straighten on the way back. That's going to allow your arms to travel more around your body on the way back. And as you come back down, the club's in a better angle. So if you watch this, the butt end of the club, if I don't turn properly, what's going to happen is this butt end of the club's not going to go very far behind my body. So the idea is we're turning our hips and shoulders, but we're trying to get the butt end of the club almost as far behind our body as possible. So we're turning our shoulders, we're turning our shoulders, we're getting weight into our right foot, we're allowing the right leg to straighten, the left leg can sort of bend, the left foot can slightly come off the ground if you want. And then from there, we're kind of returning that butt end of the club back to the middle of the golf ball. So that kind of resembles my shoulders in a nice square position. They're still sort of pointing that target. And then from there, we're turning back through. So it's just kind of a movement where we're going into our right side, the butt end goes to the right of the body, then we're coming back down into the golf ball, the butt end kind of levels out, then we're turning to the left, and that's going to hopefully get you into a better position on the way back, and hopefully transfer that on the way down. Shoulder tilt, what I mean by that is, 
how our shoulders are positioned relative to the golf ball. So this cane, I tucked it through my belt loops. So the, the number one fault I kind of see with golfers when they're approaching a, a driver shot is what they'll do is they'll kind of keep their this cane level with the ground. So their hips are nice and level, their shoulders are kind of level, and from there they kind of just take the club up and drop it back down into the golf ball. It's almost as if they're hitting an iron. So let's try and use this cane as a reference point to hopefully point you in the right direction. So I, the, the, one, the one tip I always try and advocate to golfers is we need to try and get our left shoulder a little bit higher than right. That's just generally going to help us hit up on the golf ball slightly instead of hitting down on the golf ball. So level with the ground, what's kind of going to happen is as I take the club back, every, my weight's kind of going to move forward towards the golf ball. My weight's going to remain on my left side and the club's going to come down very steep with, with driver, which is not really not really ideal for driver, it's good for an iron. So what we need to do is we need to try and do the opposite to that. We need to try and get a bit more weight on our back foot, get our head slightly behind the golf ball and keep, remain it in that position until we after impact. So let right hand off the club, wave at the camera, that's a good point, starting point. What we need to do is we need to slide our right hand down to our right knee and from there that's going to create a little bit of tilt in our shoulder so almost as if it's an aeroplane taking off and the wings are kind of slightly higher from there the left shoulder is a little bit higher the right shoulder is slightly lower so almost from this angle and this right hip slightly lower the left hip slightly higher that's going to allow us to almost just come into the golf ball with the club traveling more a lower to the ground and then higher on the way through number five is angle of attack so what we've done we've set up a cane at a quite a shallow angle in relation to the ground. So the biggest fault I see with hitting driver, as I mentioned, is become steep, which makes the club head move outside the body, the hands move in the way, and what's going to happen is we're going to collide with this cane. So the tip that we're going to try and advocate today is we need to keep the club a little bit lower through impact to start off with, then it starts to rise. So this cane on the ground, what we want to do is we want to set up to the ball and we want the club to kind of travel inside that cane on the way through nice and low. The last thing we want to do is get the club on the outside and cut across the golf ball. So, address the ball and we're swinging inside our body on the way back. Then as we come through, the club goes nice and low, the hands go nice and low on the way through and the hands travel a little bit higher. So, that's kind of the main goal, to try and get the club to go underneath this angle. So, we're not coming steep where the club head's thrown outside. So we're swinging more around that cane, more around their body. That's just going to allow the angle attack to be a little bit shallower and enable us to hit up on the golf ball as opposed to hitting down. So five tips that's going to help you golfers. Tip number one, what we talked about was getting the toe to kind of turn towards the golf ball and kind of try and just close the face. Tip number three, we talked about the movement away from the golf ball. So our left shoulder moves first, our body turns, and then from there we're just going generally going to hit the ball a little consistently consistently. Tip number three was loading the weight into our right side so we can store that power then release it. Four was shoulder tilt so we're getting our shoulders pointing to the sky we can create that one angle attack and obviously tip number five was trying to get the club to work inside that cane on the way back and then on the way through so we can just generally hit the ball more consistently. So any thoughts in that video make sure you post your comments below like and subscribe share the video around with your friends and follow me on other social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for listening.